वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश वन जीरो वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज वुड यूज फॉर द बीम हैज एन अलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ सिक्स मेगा पास कल डिटरमाइन द मिनिमम डायमेंशन डी ऑफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया टू द नियरेस्ट मिलीमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम दैट इज हैविंग दिस इज ओवर हैंगिंग बीम हैविंग यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ एट किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर ओवर लेंथ ऑफ फोर मीटर एट फ्री एंड वी हैव ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन लोड सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश वन जीरो जीरो विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व एंड आई हैव शेयर द लिंक बिलो सो यू कैन गो एंड चेक दैट एज वेल सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द मिनिमम डायमेंशन डी ऑफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन सो वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट इन टू सी डिवाइड बाई आई सो वी डू नॉट नो दिस मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग मूवमेंट फॉर दैट आई हैव टू ड्रा द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ यू रिमूव दिस सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए सो देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स आर ए एंड इफ यू रिमूव अ रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट बी सो यू विल बी हैविंग अ रिएक्शन फोर्स आर बी so by using equilibrium condition sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 so you can see that if this distributed load when converted into point load it will be 32 and it will be acting at 2 meter clear and that is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative so i will i have already written that 8 into 4 into 2 and that is minus the second movement is due to rb into perpendicular distance is 4 that is given over here this is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive third moment is 12 into perpendicular distance is 6 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus 12 into 6 so when you solve this you will get rb is equal to 34 kilo newton now in other equilibrium condition that is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so ra my, uh, plus uh, ra minus 32 okay so this this distance is downward this is downward this is upward so this will be downward this should be downward okay so again minus r a uh, plus no no there is another okay r a is this minus 32 is this plus r b which is 34 is this minus 12 is this their sum must be equal to 0 and you will get r a is equal to 40 now you will have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram that is always all already explained in problem 6 that 100 go and just watch them and learn how i draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so when you draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so you will get the absolute maximum bending moment is 24 kilo newton into meter and we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we will start from here now you can see that this is the cross section so c will be equal to d divided by 2 clear and what about i so i for this will be equal to 1 over 12 its breadth which is 175 clear and that is 0.175 and height is d so d cube minus this portion so 1 over 12 into this base is 0.125 meter because that is in millimeter into this height and this height is equal to d minus this portion Plus this portion, and this portion is seventy five. You can check in above question. This is seventy five millimeters. So d minus two into seventy five will give you this value. So d minus seventy two into seventy five is one fifty. So it will be in meter. It will be zero point one five zero whole cube. Now you can see this is the formula for cube. So I will write one over twelve into zero point one seven five into d cube minus one over twelve into zero point one two five, and this will be equal to d cube minus zero point one five zero cube minus three times d into zero point one five 
into d minus 0 0.15 so again if you expand and if you simplify this you will get i will be equal to 4.1667 into 10 to the power minus 3 d cube plus 4.6875 into 10 to the power minus 3 into d square minus 0 0.703125 into 10 to the power minus 3 d plus 3 5.156 into 10 to the power minus 6 now you have maximum bending moment you have this c you have i and you have maximum uh, bending stress or allowable stress that is given over here so all these values so you can just put over here so allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so what we will do is that uh, you have this as 6 megapascal so 6 into 10 to the power 6 is maximum bending moment was 24 into 10 to the power 3 c is actually d divided by 2 and i is this whole value so if what if i take all this value from here and just instead of writing it if i paste it over here downward okay so when you calculate you can see this term will go toward this and this term will go downward so when you simplify it it's very easy you can do it yourself at last you will get a second quadratic equation or any equation when you solve it you will get d is equal to 0 0.4094 meter or d will be equal to 410 millimeter so you should try it by yourself i have given you the idea how to solve this problem and this was all about problem 6.6-101 i hope you have enjoyed this video Sub subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching